Hi boys and girls, I'm back with another story. I've got a friend with me today, Ted. And the reason I've got Ted, or Bear, is because this week's story is Biscuit Bear. So this is gonna be the story that we use for the whole week of learning. So there'll be some ideas that we put on our website and also on Tapestry for um, boys and girls so that you've got some ideas linked to our book and also linked to last week's book, which was Jack and the Beanstalk. So I'm gonna start reading. Our story starts with a lump of pastry that Horace's mum gave him, which Horace would usually roll about over the floor and furniture until it was deep grey and fluffy and quite a lot smaller. There's Horace with his dough. But today, Horace's mum gave him a biscuit cutter in the shape of a bear to use. Horace stamped out a pastry bear and gave it current eyes and a nose. And there's his bear. Horace's mum put it in the oven to cook. 20 minutes later, the biscuit bear was golden coloured and smelt lovely, and Horace wanted to take a bite. But, no Horace, said Horace's mum. It's too hot. You need to wait for it to cool down. An hour later, Horace remembered the cooled biscuit bear and was about to take a bite. But, no Horace said Horace's mum. You're just about to have dinner. You'll spoil your appetite. Before bedtime, Horace thought of the golden biscuit bear and he was just gazing at it, but no, Horace, said Horace's mum. You've just cleaned your teeth. Horace put the biscuit bear in a little tin and put it on his pillow. And there it is, with his biscuit in a special tin and he's dreaming of sheep. It was the middle of the night. Biscuit Bear woke up. He yawned and stretched and looked for somebody to play with. Everybody seemed to be asleep. Biscuit Bear had an idea. I'm going to make some friends, he said to himself, and he went off to the kitchen. Biscuit Bear found butter and flour and milk. And he mixed them up in a mixture and rolled it and shaped it and put the first batch of friends in the oven to cook. There he is doing all of the mixing and he's got his apron on. When they'd cooled, Biscuit Bear dressed them in icing of many colours, hundreds and thousands and candied peel and glacé cherries and little silver balls. And there he is having fun. <clears throat> and now, Biscuit Bear said to his new friends, let the fun begin. And there they all are. Roll up, roll up, one night only. Biscuit Bear's circus is performing in the kitchen. Watch the acrobats as they toss and tumble. Gasp as the strong bear raises the rolling pin. Scream with surprise as our aeronaut is fired from the ketchup bottle. There they all are. The circus was so exciting that nobody noticed the shadow looming in the doorway. Mm -hmm. Look, they're too busy having fun, they haven't noticed. Bongo the dog loved biscuits, but not in a way that's necessarily good for the biscuits. Biscuit Bear just managed to clamber to safety. Uh-oh, what about his friends? Biscuit Bear looked sad at all the mess. He suddenly realised that he needed to find a place where a biscuit could be safe. I think the dog enjoyed eating all the biscuits. When Horace woke the next morning, he reached for the tin that had contained the little Biscuit Bear. But the Biscuit Bear's not there. All he found was crumbs. And the dog's looking a bit guilty and a card that looked familiar. That's the card. And it says the golden bun. The life of a biscuit is usually short and sweet, but Biscuit Bear has found somewhere safe to be. The golden bun. Biscuit Bear is in the pastry shop display. Some of it is cardboard covered in icing. Some of it is plaster. It looks delicious, but it can never be eaten. The display changes through the year, but Biscuit Bear is always the star. 
spring, summer and winter. There we go. Mm -hmm. And there's some more pictures of him on display. Thank you so much for coming to watch the video of me reading Biscuit Bear. Bear enjoyed saying hello too. Um, so we are going to put some ideas of things that you can do and there's also a biscuit recipe. So if you want to make your own Biscuit Bear, then you can. I'll be back soon for more stories. Bye.